Beauty, they say, is in the eye of the beholder. And there was plenty to behold at this year's annual Miss Universe pageant. Cool blondes from the Scandinavian countries. Exotic, golden-skinned girls from the Orient. Dark, mysterious beauties from the Middle East or Latin countries. Fresh, wholesome beauty spawned on tropical islands. Or the more sophisticated beauty of the European continent. Whatever your ideal of feminine beauty, it could be found right here. The place, Miami Beach, playground of the Americas, and the home of glamorous hotels like the Algiers, the Fontainebleau, the Monte Carlo, the Shelburne, and the Shore Club. A colorful parade heralded the opening of the 17th annual Miss Universe pageant complete with floats and, of course, the usual entourage of clowns. Crowds lined the sidewalk for their first glimpse of the lovely array of contestants competing this year for the title of Miss Universe. And judging from the cheering as the floats passed by, many of the people were already picking their favorites. The girls responded warmly to the crowd's enthusiasm with waves and smiles. But the parade was only a preview of the exciting week that lay ahead of them. opening ceremony was held at Miami's Bayfront Park Band Shell, where before an enthusiastic audience of onlookers, officials of the Greater Miami area formally welcomed the girls, who presented their hosts with token gifts from their respective countries. Miami's popular Hallover Beach was the site of the next important pageant event, Photography Day. With international attention focused on the pageant, Photographers representing newspapers and magazines from all over the world clicked away under the Miami sun to capture the contestants in a variety of intriguing poses. One thing a competing beauty queen can't afford is a sunburn. All of the girls, including Miss USA, put their aloe fashion tan to good use. If the girls seemed particularly radiant that morning, Perhaps it was because their smiles were for their many friends back home, who would shortly be seeing these very pictures in their hometown newspapers. Win or lose, each of the contestants went home with a number of attractive gifts, including her choice of a complete outfit from Beeline Fashions. And a selection from the glamorous hair pieces and other beauty items by La Contessa a division of the Wig Corporation of America. Butler Shoes, the official shoe of this year's pageant, also presented the contestants with shoes keyed to the color of their official swimsuits. Both were announced. Miss Brazil. Miss Curacao. Miss Finland. USA. Miss Venezuela. You could feel the excitement in the air as Miss USA was named the fourth runner-up.
Miss Venezuela, the third runner-up. Miss Finland, the second runner-up. the first runner-up. And the new Miss Universe for 1968 is Miss Brazil. Tears of joy and bewilderment stream down the pretty face of the 20-year-old green-eyed beauty from Salvador, Brazil, the raven-haired Martha Vasconcelos, as she was crowned and warmly embraced by the departing queen. Her charm, poise, and fair features, not to mention her measurements of 36, 25, 36, decoratively spread over a well-proportioned 5-foot-8 frame, have earned for this young Brazilian schoolteacher the most coveted beauty title in the world. But for the moment, she was simply overwhelmed by her newly won honor. As she took the traditional royal walk down the runway, the cheers of the crowd still ringing in her ears, she had no time to think of